Greetings from the Beehive State, home of the George E. Wallen Veterans Hospital. Tonight, I'm smoking some Boswell's Hunter's Choice, courtesy of the Four-Eyed Piper who gave me this glorious pipe, which is, which I call the pipe designated for talking about misadventures at the VA hospital. Quite appropriate, don't you think? Ah, yes. The VA hospital. Giving veterans a second chance to die for their country since 1950. Today, hmm, this is good. Thank you, Zach. Today, I want to take you on one of my misadventures to the optometrist. Now, as a veteran, part of my benefits are being able to go to the dentist once a year, we'll get to that story, and go into the optometrist once a year. When you go in there, they give you a standard eye exam and they let you get a new pair of glasses every year. It's extremely generous. You only have to wait two to three months in advance to get that appointment and shock if you show up and they accidentally canceled it and they didn't tell you. But for this case, I got in. I got in and I was excited because I had not had a new pair of glasses in a long time. Get in there, you sign in, the ladies are grumpy enough, and you're waiting in the waiting room. And, you know, young guy in his 30s, I'm pretty much the youngest guy there. Call me to the back, and there's a nice lady, beautiful, beautiful young optometrist. And small talk back and forth. They all think that I'm the grandson of Adolphus Kors, because at one point I told them that. I like to homebrew, so every single time they see my name, there's this little note on the bottom of the screen that says, this guy homebrews. So I don't homebrew anymore, but according to the VA, I am a world champion brewer. So I get into the, the chair. I do the standard eye exam. They dilate the hell out of my eyes. It's late in the afternoon. It's probably about 5 o'clock. Get done. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Now, Mr. Bravo, please step out into the waiting room and we'll get one of our office assistants to come help you pick out a new pair of glasses. Well, I guess they were out of those like thin films that you can uh, help you adjust to the light because your eyes are so dilated. And so I walk out right away, I'm blind. I can't see anything. Stumbling around by a miracle of God, I get to the waiting room. And because the VA is set up so great, this waiting room has windows facing the west side, so we get even more sunlight coming in, further blinding me. I'm sitting there trying to keep my eyes closed tight because the eye light or the sunlight is just giving me a headache, and I finally get a call into the side room. And I get in there and I'm stumbling around blind. I'm pretty sure I hit my shoulder going into the doors into this little closet and I sit down. Oh, Mr. Bravo, how are you? Thank you for your patience. Oh, I see you're a home brewer. How do you like that? Oh, very much. Thank you very much. I do, I do what I can. She's like, hmm, okay. Genuine, genuine disinterest in the VA. So she said, Mr. Bravo, before you, you have two racks of glasses. Take your pick. Which ones will you like? <coughs> now, I can't see. I'm blind. I didn't come with the missus. Ain't no one gonna come <laughs> to one of my appointments, so I'm stumbling through, feeling around. I say, all right, these these frame glasses look nice. And I asked the lady, I was like, honestly, I was like, I don't want to look like a goon. I've already wore BCGs, that's birth control glasses, in the army. I don't want a pair of these, so please help me. Help me pick out a good pair. So I come across this black frame ones. I put them on, and they're too small for my face. I said, do these look good, ma'am? 
She says, oh, yes, those are a popular, very popular pick. So I'm like, all right, well, I won't be looking too bad if a lot of guys wear these. I'm blind. I don't know what these even look like. So I'm taking this lady's word. And she says, hey, those are small on your face. Let's just order the next size up. They'll fit your face good. Okay. I trust you. You work for the VA. You're good people. Yeah. So she writes up her paperwork and says, have a good one. Expect these glasses in you know, 48 weeks. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let me stumble down to my car. Now, I'm a believer in angels, and an angel was looking after me that day because I don't even know how I made it to the car. Completely blind, looking like an absolute goof that my pupils are absolutely huge, and somehow I make it home. How did it go, the missus says. Oh, great. I picked out a new pair of glasses. I didn't get to really see them, but the lady says they're nice. Hmm, okay. I look forward to seeing what they look like. Me too. So, about 10 weeks later, over two months, I get a pair of glasses. I'm excited to see what they look like. Let's see what they look like. Will I look like a goob? Holy Jesus. I can't even line this up. I said, no birth control glasses. I got birth control glasses. And I was in denial when I first got these. I was like, maybe this is what those hipsters down in Austin, Texas are like. And, you know, people are going to think that I'm cool. Throw on my flannel. I didn't have the beard then, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah, I crashed through those five stages of grief pretty quickly when I was turning heads of those old ladies behind the meat counter in absolute shock of what a goober I look like in these glasses. God bless the VA. So to my fellow veterans, when you go to the VA and visit the famous optometrist, please bring a friend. Don't end up like me. So from the happy state of Utah, good night, God bless, and happy piping.